G'day guys, Jake here for here's jaken.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to reset your Windows password when you've forgotten it using Kali Linux. Now, you can use a different version of Linux, but Kali Linux comes with the stuff prepackaged. So it's as simple as downloading Kali Linux, burning it to a CD, plugging it into your computer and booting to it. Now, if your computer has secure boot, which a lot of the new Windows 8 computers do, for this to work, you're going to have to remove your hard drive and put it into another computer. Now, I like to use a USB dock and a virtual machine to do this. So I have Kali Linux on a virtual machine. I plug the USB dock, of, I plug the hard drive into the USB dock, and then I boot the Kali Linux virtual machine up and I attach the drive to it. And then I navigate and run all the commands that you'll see through this virtual machine with the hard drive attached to that. If you don't have a USB hard drive docking station or a virtual machine or hardware that can run a virtual machine, you can use an old computer and just plug the plug it into that or you another computer that doesn't have secure boot enabled and then plug the hard drive into that directly and boot to CD. It's just that secure boot stops you from booting to the CD and also when you do when you disable secure boot and you boot to the CD you can't access the hard drive so anyway let's get into it and I'll show you how to reset your password so as you can see I have forgotten my password and it's not a blank password it'll do this thing and it'll wait a bit and then it'll tell me no you've done this wrong so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to boot to a Linux live disk and what I'm using is Kali Linux because just because it comes with the packages pre-installed. So we'll just leave this for a second just to demonstrate that it's not actually logging in, it's just doing its little thing that it sort of takes a while to figure out that you've passed, um, put in the wrong password. So what I'll do is I'll just shut this down And then as I turn it on, I'm going to have to boot to the CD. So now I just turn this on again. Oh, whoops, I did that wrong. So in VMware, I'm going to have to press F2 to get into the BIOS settings. Just give it a second. And then change the boot order. So I just need to make sure that the CD-ROM's at the top. If your computer has a um, select boot option, menu, um, option, which sometimes it's F10 or F12, you can select that and just tell it to boot to the CD-ROM. Otherwise, do it in your BIOS and then change it back afterwards. As you see, I'll save the configuration. And I'll exit saving changes and now it should boot to the Linux live. So this is Kali and we'll just boot to the live thing. Now we're going to be using a program called CHNTPW. I'm not sure what that means but that's the one that does it. So I'll just give it a minute to load. And what we're going to be doing is just manipulating the SAM database to enable administrator because for some reason on computers that have secure boot, I've tried resetting the password of the actual user to blank and it just doesn't work. I can't tell you why it doesn't work, but it doesn't. So if we go to here, as you can see, the hard drive's there. If we open it, see program files, windows, and the SAM database is in, I'll just show you where it is, system32, and then it's under the config file. Then it's under config, and under here, if we scroll down to S, you'll see SAM. Now that's actually the database that holds all of the usernames and passwords. So what we'll do is we'll open up a terminal 
and this will open in our home directory. So we're going to want to change the directory by using the cd command and go to the root directory, which is just a slash. In here will be the media directory. So as you see, media right there. And we're going to need to change the directory to the media directory. So me tab and it'll get it. And then in here, we want to list all of the folders. So as you see, there's only one type of media that is in there, and that's the actual hard drive. So if we change the directory to E6 and just tab, and then we ls in here, as you can see, this is my Windows hard drive. So there's Windows, and we're going to want to change directory to Windows System 32 config and now just to make sure we're in the right folder and the SAM database in, is in here we're going to actually I don't know this so if we go ls minus l star as you see with that minus l it means things including this and SAM and then star is just the um, means wildcard so yeah that's the SAM database so now to list what is in the SAM database we're going to want to see what users are actually in the SAM database so we're going to use the command chntpw sam all in capitals remember in Linux everything is case sensitive so lowercase sam is not going to work Oh, hold on. Just so we want to go minus L. That gives a long list. We just want a short list. So as you can see, here's my users. There is these users, locked, unlocked, whatever. And what we're going to want to do is unlock the administrator account. So to unlock the administrator account, we're going to want to change this to a minus U for user. And then type in the username, which is administrator, and then space SAM, because that's the database we're doing. Oh, I've spelt administrator wrong, that's why that didn't work. Admin is needs a D. So we put the D in there. There we go. That's looking better. So now here we can clear the username and password, which we're going to want to do, just to make sure. So one has do that. You press yes or no. We want yes. So now we're going to want to run the command again to actually enable the account because by default the administrator is there but it's not enabled. So as you can see here, option four is unlock and enable the account and it tells us that it's probably locked now. So if we actually press four, enter and then Y for yes, enter. Now if we do that again, you'll see it says seems unlocked already so now it's enabled we'll just exit that and now we should be able to reboot into Windows by doing this I'll just reset the computer and we're going to want to change the BIOS settings back so the hard drive is first in the boot priority so back into boot hard drive so now hard drive is first F10 to save and exit now. Now what we'll see is it'll boot into Windows and it'll give us both the user that was already there, which we can't get into, and also the administrator user. So what we're going to want to do is go into the administrator user and then reset the password for the actual user that we like using and then disable the administrator account.
So I'll just give it a time to boot. So here we go, here's our Windows screen. It'll go back to the user that you currently were, that you were logged in as last. So if we go back, now you'll see Administrator. You can log in as the Administrator. And usually it'll do the thing where it sets up the account. If you haven't logged on as the Administrator before, it'll do that. But if it already has a user profile created for Administrator, it won't do it. It'll just log straight in. But that can take a little bit of time sometimes. So I will basically just skip over that because you don't want to be seeing the message that says, while we're getting things ready, let's give you a little introduction to Windows. So now as you see, we're in as the administrator user. So from here to reset, I mean to change the password for the other user, we have two options. We can go into control panel. This isn't the way I like to do it, but I'll just show you that you can. And in user accounts, we say manage another account. And as you see there, and we can change the password. And as you see, just type in the new password. But what I like to do, just because it's quicker, is open a command prompt, make sure it's elevated. As you can see here, this will be with elevated permissions, or you can do it from here and right click on it and say, run as administrator. So if we were to now go net user, see it lists our users. We've got administrator, guest, and user. Now, if we were to, to reset the password, you go net, user, type in the username, user, star, and then it says type in a password for the user. So I'm just going to give it a password, and it'll say the command completed successfully. So now, we just log out of the user, of administrator, and then we want to log in as the user. So as you see, there's user. I'm typing the password that I just put in. And as you see, it's loaded that up. So now we're going to need to disable the administrator user. And to do that, you just open a command prompt by typing in CMD over here. Run it as administrator again. Yes. And then we go net user administrator active, no, and that'll disable the administrator. So now if we go net user administrator, straight to, it'll give us all the stuff. And so it says built-in account, because it's the built-in account, you don't want it there. And you don't want people being able to log into it. So now if we log out, the administrator user will not be there. As you see, it now says user. There's no back arrow to go and change your user. Put in the password that you've just set. And there you go. Now that was just how to reset your password with 
Kali Linux. And that CHNTPW um, package is built into Kali Linux. If you're using a different distro of Linux, you may need to download that package. And to do that, if you run an, a, um, like Ubuntu or something, you can do apt get install chntpw and it'll find it. If not, whatever distro you're, looking, you're in, just look it up and find out how to download it. So yeah, that was how to reset your password. And thank you. Don't forget like and subscribe to see more videos and I will see you later.